Olympics. What did they do? What? How did they get famous? I don't know. They goes down they in the Buckeye State. Yeah, but they got famous Ohio. first. This is what's interesting. They got famous first, and then it turns out they can fight. Especially Jake. That kid can knock people the fuck out. He knows how to punch. Can he knock fighters out, though? Well, we don't know. I mean, we, we saw Askren, right? But Askren, first of all, coming off of a hip replacement surgery, it was like, it's a brilliant move, right? You get a guy who's arguably the worst striker in il elite MMA, which is Ben Askren. Right, and right. that's no disrespect to Ben Askren. He'd probably admit to that. Phenomenal He's a wrestler, wrestler, right? Phenomenal right. wrestler, like elite wrestler. Great guy. Not a good striker. You make him box. It's like li the worst thing that he does. And then Jake Paul starches him with one punch. But he looked, you know, you looked at his body. He looked severely out of shape. It looked like he hadn't trained for a long time and then kind of got in good enough shape so he could compete. The guy knows how to fight and knows how to win, but that's not his sport. It's not his sport at all. He just took a paycheck. I'd like know? to see this guy, Jake Paul, fight someone. Who Who's going to fight Tyron Woodley? Well, after he fight, uh, can Tyron Woodley fight? Can he box? I. Well, I know he can punch. He punches really hard, but he doesn't punch like a boxer. He throws big bombs and sets up takedowns, and you know he can crack though. With one shot, he could f anybody up. But the thing is, like the way he throws shots, he'll throw like a bomb and then set up a takedown or set up a clinch. He's not a guy who's like going out there with peekaboo style, throwing jabs and hooks to the body. That's not his style. He's never been a guy who boxed. He's been a guy who uses boxing in MMA, but he uses everything. Does Jake you know? Paul beat him, you think? Oh, we won't know until they get in there. The thing about it is he'll be the most dangerous guy that Jake's fought for now, sure. If Jake Paul, Not even close. Yeah. Not even close. And no one more dangerous than Tyron Woodley. All right, well, if he beats an MMA fighter, because there Tyron's is... Tyron's not just an MMA fighter. Tyron is a... Multi, he's a, a UFC world champion and one of the best welterweights of all time. If you looked at all the UFC welterweights of all time, he's he's top three. He's he's fucking phenomenal. But I think, there is something fundamentally different about MMA fighters fighting a boxer. Yeah, because it's, there's other stuff that you co incorporate into your movement, right? You're worried about leg kicks. You're worried about takedown defense. You're worried about all these different things. You have all these different variables on your plate. Now you remove all those variables. You give Tyron a pair of shoes, and you just let him punch. I, you know, he punches really fucking hard. And when he doesn't have to worry about wrestling, he doesn't have to worry about getting his tired, and he can and pick his shots, he'll be the most dangerous guy that Jake Paul's ever fought, for sure. But um, it doesn't necessarily mean that he wins. And I think Jake Paul can box. If you look at that Nate Robinson fight, I know Nate Robinson didn't know what he was doing, but the way he landed those punches, he he cracked him and knocked him out, moving backwards. He can he can move backwards and then plant. So he's not he doesn't have like big wind up movements. Like his brother has more wind up shots. His brother was throwing more windmilly type arm punches. Jake throws things straight and hard. They're dangerous, much more dangerous. Here's why. I, uh, here's why I have more respect for the older brother for what he just did yes he outweighed him by 40 pounds but he got in there with perhaps the best fighter to ever get in a ring i'd love to see how jake paul fares against someone similar in size that is a boxer yeah well you know what man he's only got a couple of fights here's how you have to look at him look at him like any other guy who only has a couple of fights if you saw a guy who's coming up and he didn't have an amateur career and he's only had a couple of fights He'd go, man. He's got some promise. Yeah, no, but these guys aren't in it for the. They're are they in it for the long know. haul to Jake, become fo boxers? They're Jake in it says to, he is. They're in it to become spectacles. But imagine if this guy gets all the way up to a world title fight. Imagine, imagine if he actually works his way through some professional boxers. That would be remarkable, wouldn't it? It wouldn't just be remarkable. The money he'll be able to earn. Well, how about fighting a recently retired? You know who would fuck him up right now? Andre are you saying Andre? Ward? Andre Ward. Well, Even right, because he can't fight. Andre can't fight professionally anymore because he's had some physical problems. But Andre's still in shape. He's recently retired. Maybe he'll get. Are mad you trying at to me. set something up? <laughs> <laughs> you, look at you I looking know. away. You're like the <laughs> worst poker player ever. He's like, well, maybe. Uh, well, maybe I just know. I know. <laughs> I know. Look, that's my brother. I mean, I know that he's like. Has he thought that, about it? He's he's thought about it. You're right. A lot of money was put on the table um, for him to fight Canelo, and we still get 
James and I still get asked about it, and he just he has that stick to itness. But why would he be willing to fight Jake Paul then? Because I think it's in his mind, it's an exhibition, and I don't think that he um, looks at it as even a remote threat that it could tarnish his legacy or that he would have to expend too much physically. I think that he probably is sitting back looking at this and like, you know what? I could now secure not just my children's, but my great grandchildren's <laughs> futures. And I could, you know, I think that there's a part of Andre, if you know him well, everything that I've set aside, oh, he's got some dog up in him. You hurt, if you ever watch his fights, if he gets hit, he, you'll see him, now I'm going to get you four times. You know, he is a mean SOB in the ring. And I think that there's a part of him that sees this and is like, these guys need to be put in their place, and I could do it pretty easily. But do you think that Jake Paul would be willing to fight a guy like Andre Ward, Olympic gold medalist, multiple division world champion, undefeated fighter? No. Who's still young? No. I mean, what, how old is Andre? 35? Yeah, just turned 35. Yeah. 36. 36. He's still in the prime of his athletic career, or close to it, close enough to it. But he's a little, he's a little banged up physically. He basically, you know, he, you trying to sell this fight? No, That's not what trying it to seems sell. like to me. I'm not trying to sell. Seems it. like you're trying to. I, I, <laughs> I would love for the guy. I would, I would love for Jake Paul to be like, you know what? I'll take that on. Um, so in that, but in my mind, it's like that would never happen. The well, guy's very risk adverse. I don't know about that. I mean, Tyron's a risk. Tyron Woodley's a real risk. And he's uh, he's also offering to bet Tyron his purse. He said he'll he'll donate Tyron's purse to charity. I noticed that. I noticed that Tyron did not take him up on that. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. I mean, that's... that's uh, <laughs> I noticed that. I said, Tyron is just saying, I'm not saying anything. I think Tyron needs that money. Yeah. I think he's planning 100% on that money. And if he were to lose the fight... Not good. Yeah. 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 So I think he's the biggest threat, though. Hey, Jake listen. Has fought. He, he can knock him out, and I, I, I think he's uh, got a legitimate shot at hurting him. I mean, There's he, something he fucking... that's hard, man. I have, a qu I have a question for you. What do you make of all of these these exhibitions have, like, caught fire? I don't know if it's because of COVID that people began, like, thinking – well, if I got to watch something. I'll watch anything. Yeah. And then they watch. And, and you know, Tyson and Lennox are now talking about an exhibition. That might happen. These Paul brothers, Logan and Jake, yeah, they're, they're making thing, right? some big money moves. They're oh making God. a lot of money. And they got everybody talking about them, including us.